All right, horror fans, buckle up, because today we're diving into a chilling true story that inspired The Conjuring 3. This is the haunting tale of Arne Cheyenne Johnson and the real-life demon possession case that shocked a nation. In 1981, Arne Cheyenne Johnson was just a 19-year-old kid living in Brookfield, Connecticut. Everything seemed normal until it didn't. It all started with a young boy named David Glatzel. David, just 11 years old, suddenly began experiencing terrifying visions and bizarre behavior. His family, desperate for help, turned to Ed and Lorraine Warren, the famed paranormal investigators. The Warrens quickly concluded that David was possessed by a demon. They conducted several exorcisms, but things took a darker turn. During one of these intense sessions, Arna Johnson, David's sister's boyfriend, made a grave mistake. He taunted the demon and demanded it to leave the boy and enter him instead. Soon after, Arna began exhibiting signs of possession himself. He would go into trances, speak in tongues, and even claim that he was no longer in control of his own body. His behavior became increasingly erratic and violent. Then came the fateful day of February the 16th, 1981. Arna was at a dog kennel with his landlord, Alan Bono. An argument broke out and witnesses later testified that Arna seemed to be in a trance-like state. In a brutal and shocking act, Arna stabbed Bono multiple times, resulting in his death. Arna was arrested and his defense, he claimed he was possessed by a demon. This was the first time in US history that demonic possession was used as a defense in a murder trial. The media went wild dubbing it the devil made me do it case. Though the court rejected the possession defense, Arna was convicted of manslaughter and served five years of his 10, 20 year sentence. But what makes this story truly spine chilling is the belief held by many that Arna was indeed under the influence of something otherworldly. Ed and Lorraine Warren stood by Arna's side throughout the ordeal, maintaining their conviction that he was a victim of a demonic entity. Whether you believe in the supernatural or not, the case of Arna Cheyenne Johnson remains one of the most disturbing and fascinating stories of possession and murder. So, next time you watch The Conjuring 3, remember, sometimes truth is stranger and far more terrifying than fiction. If you enjoyed this dive into the dark and mysterious, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. You won't want to miss what's coming next. Stay spooky, folks.